The market hall was a great draughty place with a glass roof like some huge conservatory. The benches ran back to back down the entire length, a hard oak seat and the bench itself like a shop counter on which the baskets went and on which the produce was laid out. The floor of cement had been worn shiny with the passing of feet so that it was like an ice rink. Small boys were always dropping fruit stones and apple cores on it and staid old men would keel over flat on their backs and there, were always some, there was always someone fanning one such old man with a newspaper. And when the town clerk went through with his malacca cane and his gardenia, someone would buttonhole him telling him what had happened and he would assure them that the market hall committee should be told and he would always do so. The market hall floor was the cause of endless deliberations once they sprinkled sand over it, but the dogs, the curs and mongrels of the town, who looked upon the market hall as their own special province, watered it so industriously that by midday the local boardman had to come up with his broom to sweep it up. The stalls ran down the side and above them on their roofs were the relics of farm sales long ago. Tricycles, penny farthings, deep in dust, old churns and bedsteads, casts and corn bins and tables all moulded with age but half distinguishable in the litter. And adjoining the hall was the butcher's market from whence came the endless chopping and shouting and the snarling of dogs who were always darting in and out under the trestles in search of bones. It was a world apart the market hall for all the people came there rich and poor the professional man and the moocher the country folk and the mill hands and their shawls and grease. There sat the buxom farmer's wife solid and static in her place and beyond her hovering endlessly a brood of women from the town and I think that just about says it all. I love that. Okay. It's, a great piece of that's lovely isn't it? Mm -hmm.